What's going on, guys? Phil here from Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV and on YouTube with Sean from Branded Title, who you probably probably haven't heard of, but he was in our <laughs> 10 types of truck, video, uh, truck guys video, so we brought him back because we had to show off the beard. Now, before yeah. we get into this, we're going to be rating trucks on a scale of 1 to 10, but earlier, you asked me if you could rate them all a 1. I didn't know you were going to tell everybody about that. I am. All right. I just did. All right. That's how we're doing this. So Got it. <laughs> Sean is not a truck guy, which is always entertaining, I feel like, to bring on and let you rate people's trucks. Just don't hurt anybody's feelings. All right? I won't try. All right. So, we're going to kick things off. I can just, I'm picturing what's happening yeah, in your head right now. Yeah, you can feel it, can't you? 2014 F-150 TAS 544 RMs, 22 by 14, negative 76 offset, of course, on Fury, Country Hunter MTs, 33 by 12 and a half on a leveling kit. So we got a whole bunch of charcoal gray with a whole bunch of bright red coming at you. Aftermarket grill, blacked out uh, taillights, it's a platy. I do like the platinum, just can't go wrong I do too, I have a soft spot for them. Projectors really tie it up nice. Yeah, oh, I mean, you can't look, not get the projectors. Good. Yeah, and if you can get the black housing ones, oh, that's sick. Um, some like chrome trim. I don't know if that's uh, OEM on the side there or not. I don't remember what those. I don't believe like. so. But it's a platinum, so then again, maybe maybe it was. Is it real platinum? Hmm. Good question. We'll have to call up Ford. Call <laughs> my guy. All right, so take a look at it. Get a number in your head. You got one. I think I got one. Stop. Three, <laughs> two, one, seven. Four. Okay, not a one. It's not a one. I went with a seven. I do like the overall look of the truck. Um, I like red wheels, but I don't know if I like it in this combination because now we have gray, chrome, silver, trim, black, and red. There's a lot of, a lot of colors going on. And the, red, the red's really bright, but I think it might stand out a bit too much. And that's kind of where I'm at. It's a little all over the place. The tail lights are literally Looks black. Like night shades. Right next to the light platinum yeah. thing on the back. The red's a little out there for the gray of the truck without having a lot of it anywhere else besides in the weird grill with rivets on it, <laughs> I guess. Car guys picking up um, rivets. With it being that, would that be a crew cab or a yeah, double? I don't know how they. Cab. The crew cab with the longer box and how long the truck is, I don't know as if it's tall enough to pull off that aggressive of a wheel tire combo. Sure, yeah, maybe if you had it lifted a little bit higher yeah. with bigger tires and it would look a little more proportionate. But right now it's like low, long, and then wide. So you yeah. got like many dimensions going on. 2013 Toyota Tacoma Specialty Forge SF 035s, 24 by 14s, again on some Furies, uh, 33 by 14 and a half, and an eight inch Pro Comp. Probably just the 8-inch Pro Comp in the front. It looks like it, huh? Based on uh, how much <laughs> lean we got here. Uh, tons of aftermarket. Those headlights look like they're probably custom built. Tint, decal, suspension appears to be powder coated. He's got a custom grill. The fender flares. Hey, you guys bought a Tacoma that looks just like this. Yeah, it's white. It's tall. It's not quite it's not, that aggressive. It's not quite squatted, though. I like this one. Really? I think that looks really, really cool. Actually, it's it's offensive. I think it's this is a big. Great photo. I love it's it. loud. Yeah, uh, and it's got Specialty Forge, which is like some of the most uh, insane wheels on the market. These are the the one piece of aluminum polished to mm. a mirror like finish okay. we were talking about before. Okay. Weird. Yeah, it's slick though, and good photos. I love to see people add their trucks. I think that helps. Photos. Yeah. Oh, he's got inch and a half wheel spacers front and rear. In case that changes anything about it. All right, number, got her? Got it. Okay, three, two, one, eight. eight. Oh, yes. snap, all probably, right. Probably for different all reasons. Right. Well, maybe the same, I don't know. I would like to see it sit level, not so much squat. I also really have a soft spot in my heart for free runner Tacomas or an overland Tacoma. So seeing one like this is like, eh, not my cup of tea, but at the same time, it's clean. It is. So. I mean, I can't argue. For being untasteful, it's really tasteful. That makes zero sense, but that's how I feel. It's definitely a very like show-worthy uh, type vehicle. The headlights are a little busy for me. Same with the grill, but I think it works with the whole package with the squat and everything. It's, it's yeah. kind of supposed to. I mean, be the like whole that. truck is like, yeah, look yeah, yeah. at me. So if you're gonna go with it, it definitely yeah. achieves that goal. Hopefully, that's what he was going for. 2017. 
F-250 Super Duty. Wow, this I really like. Archon, uh, Crown Series Victories, 26 by 14s. Fury, Country Hunters, 38 by 15 and a half. Got some wide boys on there on a six inch zone. Look at these headlights. That looks insane. What, what color is this? This is like a, like a sort of a tan. I kind of like it. <laughs> American flag decal in the back. Looks like the aftermarket taillights. Big old dual exhaust. I'm assuming this is a power stroke, just based on the st stickers on the side. And I think these headlights must be custom done too, because they look painted to match. They look a lot like the Morimoto headlights, but I, I don't know if they are or not. Do they get the four projector things like that? Are those LED? Yeah. Is and that and the Morimoto okay. ones, they're like, they're insane. Oh, this thing's pretty slick. And really, like, wheels, tire, suspension, and then some decals, headlights, taillights, exhaust work. Not a ton to look absolutely insane. Yeah. I like this truck a lot. I like it too. All right, got a number? Yeah. You can do halves also. Just figured I'd let you know. Okay. Three, two, one, nine Eight and, and a half. half. <laughs> of course we both do one. Man. So I really would, I would do a 10 on this truck if it didn't have the dual exhaust. For some reason on a diesel, I don't, I don't like the dual exhaust. I don't know. They're also massive tips. I think I would go with something a little more modest. Yeah, I agree. But overall, the truck looks absolutely killer. Like, I would definitely drive this, hands down. Oh, I would too. That thing looks just absolutely insane. It's super aggressive. It's super big, super wide. Yeah. The colors like... pulled off really well. It looked like the emblems on the back and stuff and the headlights are all mm -hmm. painted to match. It's a really clean, kind of kept it understated even though it's got gigantic wheels and a huge lift. Yeah, it's like getting all those small details yeah. done, just like bring everything together. I, I get on board with that, that's for sure. Another, another F-250, especially Ford's wheels this time, 26 by 16, 40 by 15 and a half inch tires, 12 inch BDS. Did you say 26 so, by 16? Yeah, go ahead. 16 wide, Yeah. that's a thing? Yeah. I didn't know that was an option. So he's got an eight inch BDS kit, that he basically took apart and then made it uh, stretch to 12 inches with the coilovers. What? See, like these are the OEM headlights and they've got like two projectors, but Morimoto oh, okay. says, I'll give you all the projectors. A little bit of squat. He's got, um, I don't know, what, what color would you call that? It's like sort of bronzy. Gold sort of bronze? Gold. It's gold, gold and bronze. The rest of the truck really though, like as far as body-wise, Stock tail lights, stock headlights. He's got the mirror caps painted to match. He's got a Whoa. sick beach photo. A couple of uh, LED lights underneath there. Looks Where's the like... beach, bud? It's water. No. I mean, I'm gonna call it a beach. I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe it's just flooded. No spacers. All right. Okay. Got a number for it? Got it. All right, three, two, one, nine. Seven. Nine. What? Yes, seven. seven. So, which uh, I feel bad saying, but you spend all the money on specialty forged wheels and I have this massive truck, but when I just look at it, it nothing is like really jumping out at me. And I don't know if because he doesn't have the center caps on in these photos, maybe that's throwing me off, but I don't know. I don't know. I get where you're coming from where it's not, he didn't make it personalized, he just kind of threw some stuff on there and called it a day. Yeah. But I kind of like the simplicity of that. I guess. Like I'm sure he obviously had a thought process going through this and like the suspension is powder coated so he thought it through and he you know took apart a lift kit to make it you know larger. But it's just when I look at this one compared to the last one we saw, like I saw the last one and I was like yup I like that. I saw this one and I had to keep looking to find exactly what I liked about it. I'm surprised you said nine. For a guy that says he's gonna really like every that. truck a one. And maybe that's just because it doesn't have all the typical truck stuff done to it. Maybe that's what's kind of, are the cab lights factory? Is that yeah, a... you can order them with okay. the cab lights. Interesting. Some, the, I don't know what package it came with obviously, but you can get them with the cab lights or without. Some people put them in aftermarket with like recon, stuff like that. But, well, that's it. 
You made it through, and you, I don't think you've made anybody too mad. I probably made somebody mad. On Did I give that one guy a four? Yeah, well. He's gonna be pretty mad. We explained it, we covered it. All right. <laughs> if you guys wanna add your vehicle to the gallery to have it rated, you can do so at customoffsets.com forward slash add. That's how we get them all in here. And if you don't know what the gallery is, that's how we figure out what fits your vehicles, and you can actually just go in and enter your make model and then uh, see all of that stuff. So that's the plug for you at the end. That's Sean from Brand Tide Go. I'm Fuller from Custom Offsets. Have a good night. Goodbye. Signed it off like the news. <laughs> Clothes, hands. Yes. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs>